So, uh, David, how's your foot doing? That's why there was a delay, right? You're having some issues walking after the fight? Yeah, it's okay. It's a little bit pain, but it's okay. You think it's broken or anything? Or uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, maybe small fracture, but it's, it's, it's a little bit pain, but it's okay. It, it will go over. Just from a kick or something? Or, yeah, uh, yeah. How early? Did you... you didn't see my left kicks? Yeah, we saw <laughs> Golden <it>. kicks. <laughs> was it early in the fight that it happened? Uh, I don't know. You don't remember? I remember, but after the fight, like, because you have a little bit adrenaline inside there. After, in the changing room, I feel a little bit left, but my coach put ice and wrap it on. So now I need to, two, three days, I need to take it easy with the left foot. How happy? It will be good. It will be good. How happy were you with your performance tonight? That was a big win tonight, uh, handing Drakkar's first loss. Yes, uh, Drakkar, uh, closer, it was uh, his, his, uh, his first loss today. And uh, yeah, he, he, he's he's still young, and uh, he need like he for sure he will he will uh, come back. Yeah. But uh, you know, David Tamer in the house, <laughs> my bumps, uh, people they hear it. You know? What was he What was he saying to you in the cage? Because there was a bit of trash talk. Uh, he looked like he was saying to you. He's from Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> they like to talk. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you've beaten a couple of top prospects in a row. Uh, yes, are these the sort of fights that interest you right now, or are you looking for bigger names next time? Ahead? Of course, I'm looking for a belt, you know, top 10. Like, uh, you know, uh, a room didn't build in, in one night, you know, so it's like the same the fights, you know. So I take every fight, single fight, easy, easy, but my goal is one day uh, to the, I, I want to have the belt. I will bring it to Sweden. Any particular reason why you took nine months off since your last fight? Uh, develop my my game, you know. Uh, I get a, honestly, I got a fight in in Holland, so in the summer. Okay. So the guy get injured, so they cancel the fight. Okay. So they searching for a new fight for me. Then I get here in UFC 218. Okay. Uh, so I was supposed to fight in UFC Rotterdam. That's why it have take uh, okay. a long time. Who are you supposed to fight on that card? Uh, a guy from Brazil, uh, Silva or something. Uh, I don't know his first name. Felipe Silva? What? Is it Felipe Silva? No, not sure. Uh, so I don't say wrong, but it no, was no. a guy from Brazil, yeah. He got injured, so the fight didn't happen. But. Uh, your former opponent, Lando Venata, was extremely happy on Twitter to see you win. He was cheering you on, so happy. Uh, do you expect to have the same sort of close relationship with Drakkar close after tonight? You know, for me, in, in, inside in the in the cage, you know, it's a day in the office. But outside, you know, we say hi to each other. I don't have any bad feelings or something like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I haven't seen him yet. But if I see him, I will say hello to him. And, you know, it's, it's not uh, more than that, you know. So inside the ring we do our business and this is a deep division do you want like a bigger name uh, for your next fight like a, like a notable guy after this or like i told you my goal is the belt yeah. and uh, i want to go to top 10 top 10 fighter yeah. you feel like a win like this is finally going to give you the respect of you know people calling you a contender in the division because that was a big win tonight of course uh, i want to i want to fight some in the top 10 you know my goal is the belt like i told you Yes, sir. How would you describe this year for you? This, this seems a to be a year, year where you uh, took a, a step in your career. Of course, uh, a good year for me. Second of March, I f uh, 4th of March, I fought co-main event in the UFC 209 uh, against Lando Vanata and now here in UFC, uh, U uh, UFC 218. Now I'm winning tonight, so people love to watch my style. Yeah. So, yeah. Because uh, you, uh, you I can hear the audience, you know, always okay. when I step into the, to the, you know, I give them high quality, I give what people want to see, I give them value for the tickets, you know, so I will still uh, do my thing, you know. At, at UFC 209, you, at the, the press conference, you gave us some, some singing at the end before you left, and this is the home of Motown, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so what do you have for us this time, anything good? <laughs> Aretha Franklin. Wow, 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 yippee yo, yippee yeah. Where are my dogs? <laughs> What's up, Detroit? <laughs> I like it. Yes, What's, so. um, because you had a bit of a layoff there, do you want to get back in the cage fairly soon? I mean, you're going to enjoy the holidays, I'm assuming, but do you want to get back in Tomorrow, there? Tomorrow, you know when I'm going? You remember the last time yeah. in the Vegas? What did they say? 
Tomorrow I go to Cyprus. No. no. Miami Beach, Miami and Beach. tomorrow I also go to Miami Beach. Nice. <laughs> yes, sir. That's so, good. yeah. Why Miami all the time? What? Why Miami? Eh, Miami's nice. I like nice. it, you know. <laughs> You're certainly dressed for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see? <laughs> That's good. What are you going to do in Miami? Just, you know, I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to enjoy. Go to the beach, eating good, you know, because I have a hard camp, training camp, you know, training twice a day, like over 10 times in the, in the week. So, like... You need to enjoy also. So I'm working hard now for this camp. Now I want to enjoy. Then back on track. Training, training, training. So yeah. Uh, work hard, play hard. Yeah. Uh, how about tonight? Hard. Are you going to celebrate it all? Or are you saving that all for Miami tomorrow? Uh, tonight I'm going to be with my coaches. I'm going to enjoy, you know, uh, my coaches, Andreas Michael, uh, Jimmy Dawood. Daniel Tamer. Yeah, and also I want to say hi to all the people in Sweden and uh, to all the Aramaic people. And uh, yeah, also thank my sponsor, Bethard. And uh, yeah, I'm really grateful and happy.